y'all, it's Base Kato, and I'm back with another video. So this video is a little bit different because we're in my car, you guys. Like, this is going to be a little car vlog. So definitely sit back or buckle up and hear me talk about whatever I have to talk about because I feel like I have my best thoughts and I think the best when I'm like out and about and I'm driving. Like does anybody else, can anybody else agree with me on that? Like you think you're best when you're driving or like in the shower. So yeah, my car is dirty as hell. I was supposed to go to the, um, I was supposed to go to the car wash, but it all of a sudden, like, it's cloudy now. Like, it was sunny earlier, now it's cloudy. But anyways, what inspired me to do this video is, y'all, so I've been wanting to film in my car for, like, the longest because, like I said, I think the best in my car. And if you don't know about me, like, fun fact about me, I'm definitely a car person. Like, I like nice cars. Some old school cars are nice too, but, you know, I know a thing or two about cars. So, I wouldn't mind, like, doing more car vlogs or just car vlogs in general. Like, it, I feel like that would be fun. And I'm always in my car, so it's another way for me to be consistent. And I got this really, really nice um, suction cup type mount on Amazon. I just got it today, but it's like the newer, you know, that newer brand. They're really into like camera equipment and stuff. So I got their suction cup camera mount. It's supposed to hold up to like 111 pounds, like if you're standing still, 88 pounds if, I don't know for whatever reason and then you can also stick this tripod like on the outside of your car and it can hold at least up to 11 pounds on a moving car which that's actually really good especially if you have like a gopro and stuff this suction cup was only 49 dollars i'm pretty sure the suction cup was like 40 50 dollars pretty much i didn't want nothing janky so i was like well i'm gonna spend however much i need to spend because I don't need my camera like breaking and shit, right? So, because y'all, these Atlanta roads be something else for real. Y'all, so basically, the premise of this video is I'm gonna be corny, but I'm gonna be corny today and I'm gonna just say manifestation because it's been a long time coming with my YouTube, y'all. Like, I started my YouTube like four years ago at this point and it's been a wild ride i will say like youtube it's not easy starting a youtube channel like half the people that you see on youtube it's like they've started youtube maybe years ago but they weren't like confident in themselves and this that, and the third so like they started it and then stopped it and then restarted like that's what a lot of people do and it's okay to restart like multiple times because i definitely did i know i stopped youtube at least like three or four times before like actually really like becoming consistent and that's really because like I was just like in my head the whole time y'all so that's the thing when it comes to like following your dreams in general like you just have to get out your head like I thought with YouTube I would just look I don't know sometimes I just feel stupid doing certain stuff like you know like sometimes you just feel stupid doing anything like sometimes I feel stupid like waiting in line at like a grocery store or something and it's like everyone else is waiting in line so why should i feel stupid but like i do <laughs> that's how i felt about my youtube like i felt weird like promoting my own youtube like on my social media and like i had no followers and it's like you expect like when you make your first youtube video you're like all right this gonna be it this gonna hit so it's like as soon as you like publish it you think like bam you're supposed to get like hella views this and the third and it's just like youtube is not like that i mean you definitely can be that one in a million type person who is able to drop one video and get like millions of views like it's definitely possible um really as long as you talk about like super super hot topics like stuff that's like happening right now you could definitely do that but me i just i kind of and kind of don't go that route um because i don't like getting into 
like celebrity drama and stuff like like I don't like getting into like celebrity gossip and this side and third but every now and then you know you find an outlandish story where it's just like damn like let me talk about this because this is crazy you know but in general YouTube is all about the journey in my opinion so I'm still only at like 443 subscribers but this year is like the first year that I've really like you know I'm taking myself seriously I've you know been getting out of my comfort zone and also investing in myself the end of May I, that's when I got my new MacBook Air and ever since then it's like I've been churning out videos like it ain't nothing and it's so crazy because for like almost two years now it's like I've been complaining about my computer situation and stuff and it's just like at a certain point it's like I don't, I don't know it's just like in life it's like you know some people some people not everybody but a lot of people know what they really want to do in life like me I knew from like the age of 15 that I really wanted to be like a YouTube star this that and the third like I knew that's what I wanted to be but I still went the route of like going to college first getting the college experience which I definitely don't regret that but I felt like I needed to I don't know I felt like I wasn't like good enough for YouTube I don't know good enough is the right word but I just felt stupid doing it and I just thought that and also back then like being on social media like that as a job being an influencer that wasn't really seen as a thing in school I pretty much studied um something that I knew would guarantee me a job at the end of the day so like I study economics I work for a bank you already know that's like a guaranteed job wherever you go um damn I missed the light y'all um where was I yeah, so I got my MacBook and I was like churning out a whole bunch of videos and it like really inspired me way more. And it's like, like I said, for the longest since at least 15, like I remember I used to watch like Kennedy Simone before she like blew up and like dated D DDG and everything. Like I remember I would watch her YouTube videos and like would emulate makeup tutorials and the stuff that they're like, I knew that's what I wanted to be. But like I said, I just never was, I don't think I was ready for it. I, I feel like that's what it was, but I was preparing myself for it. Basically what I'm saying is I was in my head for so long about YouTube to now it's like, I don't even care anymore because what I'm doing now, as far as like work and stuff, I'm not really like, it's a cool job. Well, actually it's not a cool job. It's a boring job, which boring jobs are where it's at. So that's definitely key. But I definitely cannot see myself working for a bank for, like, the rest of my life. Like, not until, like, I'm 65. Like, hell no. Oh, shoot. Y'all heard that? <laughs> I feel like the fear of looking stupid was holding me back for so long. And it's just, like... <sighs> Atlanta drivers drive so crazy, y'all. This is why I do need a car mount because this should be crazy. But I just feel like the fear of looking stupid has held me back so long from like actually seriously putting in work onto my YouTube. Because at the end of the day, like it's not going to just come to you. Like you really do have to put in that energy into what you really want. That's why I mentioned earlier in the video, I may be talking about manifestation and stuff because I've been focused when it comes to my YouTube. Not only have I been like, I guess it's so weird in life because I would say I've never been super religious, this, that, and the third, but it's like at a certain point you, when you know you don't like what you're doing, you feel like you're pinned against the wall it's like all of these responsibilities are hitting you it's like at a certain point it would or at least for me it was like i didn't know who to ask for help so i just turned to like god and i started just asking him for help but also appreciating what i already have now because like i have way more than a lot of people have and you know i feel like i'm struggling but i'm really not but, you know, that's just me being in my head. But that's why I say I'm grateful for the things that I have. But I also am ready to receive the things that I'm ready to receive. 
So I've been pretty much saying that for like the past two months and I've been really going in on my YouTube at the same time. I've been like researching other YouTubers, seeing, you know, just how they do things and everything. Because I'm not saying you have to be like everybody else. But at the end of the day, these people know what works on the on the platform. So I want to kind of mimic a little bit what they do just to get myself out there. So, yeah, just manifestation, like speaking it into existence, believing in yourself, having the confidence. And, you know, some days I don't feel confident. Like right now, me filming this video in my car, I feel weird as hell right now. But sometimes being uncomfortable, well, being uncomfortable creates growth. So, so I mean, I remember like a year ago, I was uncomfortable being on camera at home in the comfort of my own home by myself. And now it's like I can turn on the camera and boom, I'm like, hey, y'all, it's Base Kato and I'm back with another video. Like it just is smooth with it. You know, I'm not stuttering as much. Um, who it looks like it's finna pour, y'all. But yeah, it's like YouTube, it's, a, it's all about the journey. And I will say I'm definitely enjoying the journey. Um, like I said, believe in yourself, be confident, invest in yourself too, don't hold back. That's why I bought a new MacBook, I bought this camera mount. Also the camera that I'm using, the Sony A6300 uh, I think, or 6200. It's a really good camera, so I definitely had to invest. Um, but I just feel like all of these investments are gonna come back like a hundred times, you know, come back a hundred times more. Like, so that little money that I spent on all this shit won't even matter in like a year or two. That's how I'm thinking. So, but anyways, y'all, I don't know how much battery I have left on my camera, and plus, um, my phone disconnected from the camera, so I don't know if my thing is like still recording, which it better be recording. But anyways, the moral of the story is, if you're thinking about starting anything, a YouTube channel, definitely go ahead and just start it. Like, don't let the fear of looking stupid hold you back from your greatest potential. So... So I feel like, because like I said earlier, I feel stupid filming this video right now because my windows aren't like that tinted. Like they're pretty tinted, but, but not like, no, 20%, 5% tint. So people can see me in my car. And I don't like when people can see what I'm doing in my car. Like that's my pet peeve. Like I hate when people are looking at me in my car. But at the end of the day, you don't know what they're thinking. Like I may be thinking that they're making fun of me. Meanwhile, they're probably looking in my car like damn that's cool like who is she like you know so you never know you just you never know what people are thinking so don't assume things so just do you you know just do you at the end of the day because people are gonna hate on you regardless if you're doing something that they wish they could do you know like like some of these people that be hating on me like they probably can't even, like, y'all, some of these people that are hating on me, they probably can't even do half the shit I be doing in Final Cut Pro. So, I know what I'm doing. So, I'm in my lane, I'm doing me, and it's, it's, that's it. But, alright, you guys, that's all I have to say, because I'm pretty sure my camera's gonna die. I definitely need to invest in, like, more batteries for my camera. But, anyways, you guys... Hopefully you enjoy watching, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!